Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. We trust the Lord that this morning you will be blessed of the Lord. The hand of the Lord will touch you, minister to you, silence the enemy, shut the mouth of devils, and give you total victory. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give you magnification. We make your great name for from the rising of the sun to the going down of it, your name shall always be great. Father, by the outstretching of your hand, let somebody have a testimony. Let the enemy be silent. Let victory be given. Let favor be released. Let testimonies follow. Let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. We'd like to welcome everyone to Morning Glow today. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed, you will be favored. We welcome you from the four corners of the earth, whoever you are, wherever you are. You are welcome. May you be blessed and highly favored. Let us know where you have joined from this morning so we can celebrate and appreciate and bless you wherever you are. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Sutton and sorry, God bless you. Workshop, be blessed and highly favored. Stanwell and Staines, the Lord bless you richly. In Jesus' name, we speak blessings on you. Saint Elizabeth, Jamaica, Quirk in Ireland, the Lord bless you. Yebo Shadada, Kusuba, Ridide. Speak blessings on Nottingham. We speak blessings on Custom House, East London, Levenshaw, Manchester, Nedebo, Ziyaraba, Rike Koso Tayeka, Quirk in Ireland, Pearly in Croydon. May you be blessed. May you be highly favored. May you be victorious. Durban, South Africa, Bedfordshire, God bless you richly. Jesus' name this morning. Mary Kaba Li Kundorobosia Nikaleli Shayaba Nidorosh. We speak blessing on you. Mafaluko Shadi Nigeria. God bless you. Brussels. God bless you. Vundok Namibia. God bless you. Oswestry. Blessings. Limehouse. The Lord bless you. Bristol, blessings, blessings, blessings. Waltham Cross, the Lord bless you richly. Southampton, UK, be blessed and highly favored. Bromley and Lucian, may you be blessed and highly favored. Yeko Suti, Dabari, Doshada, Zikare, Kotore, Zedebosha. We speak blessings on you today in the name of Jesus. Uh, Bromley, Lucian, blessings, Malaysia. The Lord bless you this day. May you be favored. May you be blessed. Yeboro dagigeza broshetaya. Yeroro janada. Yeroro rateo. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you're welcome this morning. Uh, praise Center, Ibadan, Nigeria, blessings on you. Hammersmith, West London, blessings on you. In the name of Jesus. Ibroso Yarabo Shikayara, Marosha. We bless you this day. May you be victorious. In the name of Jesus. That's Hammersmith, West 3. God bless you. Uh, Pitsy in Essex, blessings in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mayedosa, Libro Doroshkaya, Eritorosia, Eradadada. In Jesus' name. We declare and decree this morning, everyone on the platform, you will have a testimony. Cross River, Nigeria. Satellite Lagos, blessings on you. 
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we declare and decree on everyone who's on the platform today. Today will be a day of glory, a day of power, a day of praise, a day of testimony. Enfield Lock, blessings on you in the name of Jesus. Swiss Cottage, may you be blessed and highly favored. Areko Talim, Brodo Janai, Shalom from Sacramento, California. The Lord bless you this morning. Lester, blessings. In Jesus' name, Drogheda, Ireland, blessings on you. Jesus' name, Obereka, Reboroza, Birmingham, blessings. Paddock Wood, Kent, God bless richly. Stevenage, blessings. Pleasanton, California, the Lord bless you richly. May you be highly favored. May you be lifted. Jemina, in Chad Republic, may the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. 37 in Accra, Ghana, military hospital. May you be blessed. Slade Green in Erith. God bless you. Manila in the Philippines. God bless you richly. May you be blessed. May you be favored. May you be lifted. In Jesus' name. Togo Lome. God bless. Finchley Barnett, North London, blessings. St. Paul's Brittle, Bristol, blessings. Essex in Raynham, be blessed, be highly favored. Be lifted, be victorious today. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord lift you, may the Lord guide you, may the Lord give you grace. May the favor of the Lord never cease from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Kali bi da 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 da. Jandero bali kadi. Mambaro sotaya. Thank you, Jesus. Ne kaba. Beckton in London. Blessings on you. Canada waters in London. The Lord bless you this morning. <clears throat> KRCC South Africa. Saubona. May you be blessed. May you be blessed. May you be blessed. Tetford, Norfolk, blessings. Bexley, Heath. The Lord bless you. Miami, Florida, blessings of the Lord rest. Clapton in London. The Lord bless you. Austin, in Port Harcourt. God bless you, Austin, in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Kumasi, Ghana, Little Hampton, West Sussex, we speak blessings on all of you. We'd like to celebrate, welcome everyone who is with you this, with us this morning, Eden Gardens in Lagos, Newcastle in Australia. All right, they have Newcastle in Australia. All right, every of the babies of the UK seem to take our names. New York took York from us. Yeah, New York City, blessings on you. Somebody from New York said, my first time. Okay, God bless you richly this morning. May you be highly favored from New York. Let me know what part of New York, Brooklyn, uh, Queens, whereabout. The Lord bless you richly. Costa Mouse, East London. The Lord bless you. Democratic Republic of Como. God bless you. HFC Estates in Ghana. The Lord bless you. All right. <clears throat> Merseyside and Liverpool, UK. Be blessed, be blessed, be blessed, be blessed. Saudi Arabia. The Lord bless you this morning. Wabi Lai Taufik. Roman Ridge in Accra, Ghana. God bless you richly. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Slough in the United Kingdom. God bless you. I think that is in Buckinghamshire. I'm not sure now. May you be highly favored. <clears throat> This morning, I feel very strong about it, that the Lord wants us to just prophesy into somebody's life. Yes, it is time for you to claim, receive what is your inheritance in Christ Jesus. Gabaroni Botswana, God bless you this morning. The time has come for you to walk in your inheritance, to live in your inheritance. Okay, from the Bronx in New York, God bless you in the name of Jesus. May you truly experience the grace of God. 
recovering your inheritance. Psalm 115, <clears throat> verse 16. Psalm 115, verse 16. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth hath he given to the children of men. The heaven, even the heavens, are the Lord's. But the earth hath he given to the children of men. Do you know the power and implication of that statement? The earth is the Lord's, but he has given it to you as an inheritance. Everything on this planet was not supposed to dominate over you, but you to dominate over it because the Bible says that he has given it to you. It's your inheritance. And you may have lost it in the first Adam, but the last Adam came to make you recover it. So this morning as we prophesy inheritance, recovering inheritance, something that have been elusive to you is coming into your hand. Favor, blessings, properties, increase, breakthroughs, turnarounds are coming to your life. So to recover in this context, to, it says the heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's. But the earth hath he given to the children of men. So God wants you to recover your inheritance, what he has given to you. So to recover means to reclaim. You need to reclaim what belongs to you. It means to repossess. This means you lost possession before, but you are taking territories. It means to retrieve. Whatever was taken from you, you are taking back. It means to retake. It means to regain possession of something stolen, something lost. An inheritance, on the other hand, is the practice. You see, when it says inherit, it means somebody gave you what probably they worked for, then they gave it to you freely. It's an, it's an act. It's, it's an act of uh, passing on property, passing on titles, passing on sometimes indebtedness, passing on rights. If you bought this bottle from me and I did a deed of transfer, you have inherited now from me this bottle with all the rights that go with it. That is why when you buy a land, there's every right that goes with that land has been passed to you. So, inheritance means every right, every obligation. Particularly, inheritance has to do with upon the death of the previous owner. When the person passes and they said, in my passing, before I go, I am writing that I pass this thing to Matthew Ashimolowo. When they pass every right, every benefit, every beautiful thing about it, becomes mine. That's the power of the death of Christ. So all those things you find sometimes written to attack the whole of the last week of Jesus before the resurrection, it is intended to invalidate what Christ has done for us. His death was to pass to us. He had to die. He was the only one born that he may die because if he didn't die, then we have nothing to collect. We have no new covenant if Jesus did not die. It's the covenant is what seals it, that will. You see, the New Testament and the Old, the New Testament in particular is his will. The will of a testator does not come into effect until the testator dies. You can't carry your dad's will and be running around and say, hey, you wrote here that uh, property on uh, the corner of uh, XYZ is mine. And the guy is still alive, bro. It's not yet yours. So from the above that I've shared with you, it is very clear that you need to recover what belongs to you. Dispossess the current occupants. The devil knows how to be an illegal tenant. And he knows how to stay and perpetuate his stay unless you know your right and by reason of the blood chase him out and by reason of the word chase him out. 
until there's no room for him. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. And Satan and his hosts were cast out of heaven. And there was no place for them. The time has come. Somebody's going to take their inheritance. You're going to take your possession. And take back from the devil what is legitimately yours. How did it come to be yours legitimately? The redemptive work of Christ. The day his blood fell. A. Sin lost its power. Satan lost his power when the blood fell. The grip of darkness was broken when the blood fell. When the blood fell, the hold of Satan was broken. Heaven transferred to you the rites of Calvary when the blood fell. Then when he died, boom, he sealed the will of the testator. You are now a... The day you get born again, you become a legal, uh, you have legal en en entitlement. Legal entitlement. Until a person comes into the family, he can't claim and say, yeah, Jesus is mine too. No, 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 no. <laughs> when the will is written, it is written with conditions. They can't just say because uh, a man lived in a house, with the owner of the house, that whatever the man passes on is his, unless he is mentioned. Now the Bible makes clear the purpose of the property of God, the possessions of God, the blessings of God belong only to those who receive Christ. I hope you are getting it. So the day you get born again, you did more than for uh, uh, stopping some unrighteous acts. You became a member of the family that have a right to the will and testament that had been written. You are now having legal right to the all to all the redemptive benefits by virtue of Christ's death and resurrection. You now have right. You can now stand and say, Health is mine because he paid for it. And he said, whoever gets born again can take it. Property is mine because he paid for it. And he said, whoever gets born again can claim it. So you see, in Genesis, 20, in Genesis 1, verse 26 to 28, God gives man authority. But then man abdicated the authority to Satan through Adam when Adam sinned. But Jesus came, Malaresha. Jesus came and recovered all that Adam lost. Then he said, okay, it's now available, but you must be born again. You must be part of the family again. So through the washing of his blood, not the, through the embracing of religion, through the washing of the blood of Jesus Christ, we become children of God. The recovery of authority by Christ is for the benefit of man you inclusive but for you to enjoy it you must have the you must have the knowledge of his redemptive grace you must have the knowledge of his redemptive grace that is what guarantees your freedom praise the lord you must know what jesus did you shall know the truth the truth will set you free once you know what christ did then you then realize that I like I always preach, Christianity is not a religion. It is a relationship. It's a family. And the day you get born again, you are co-opted into the family. You are given all the rights of a son or a daughter. Like my friend, Reverend Steve Mensa did for a boy he found by a golf course. This boy comes from a very poor, broke, broken, busted family. One mother taking care of about seven or nine children. Father is gone. And the boy, in order to put some food on the table for his mother and his siblings, he has to come and walk. He's just about 14 or 15. And uh, the golf bag is heavy. <laughs> for those of us who are amateur golfers, uh, technically a golf bag should have only 13 clubs. But because we are amateurs, 
We carry every weapon of mass destruction. Sometimes our bag has 16, 19. Makes it too heavy for some of these young caddies. And Reverend Steve looked at the boy and said, you can't carry my bag, it's too heavy. The boy said, I need this job. I gotta carry your bag. I, I have to carry it. I need the money. And Reverend Steve said, okay, stand aside. I'll pay you a full day's money or let somebody else carry it. At the end of the game, he asked, where are you from? Boy tells him a story. And so tells the boy and his mother, I want to adopt your son. Next day, the boy has brought his bag. He's ready to go with him. Today, the boy is an engineer living in New York. Every right of his son was passed to him. Every right of his son, even though it took him time to understand it. And they prepare food. He didn't know how to sit with the family. He go and sit with the, with, uh, the housekeepers and the cleaners. Because that's where he's coming from. It took time for the, trans, for the transmission to take place in his brain. Just like we also, when you get born again, it just sounds too good. Who am I? Who am I? That God will say I should be joined here with his son. We're not talking of joined here with King Charles. We're not talking of joined here with the President of the United States of America. But joined here with Christ? Are you for real? But that is the revelation you need to get because the day you get that revelation that you are joined here with Christ, then you know that, hey, there is nothing that I need that he won't provide. Praise the Lord. So this morning, and probably a couple of more mornings, I want to prophesy into your life that this thing that redemptive right brought to you must begin to manifest. You mustn't just have it and you can't benefit. You've got to claim your inheritance. You've got to walk in your inheritance. You've got to enjoy your inheritance. You've got to live in your inheritance. You've got to be the person whom God called you to be. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise this morning. We celebrate your goodness, your faithfulness. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you for the full redemptive work you have done on the cross of Calvary. We thank you for saving us, for delivering us from the power of darkness. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that speaks better things, better, 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 better than the blood of Abel. He spoke our redemption. He brought us out of darkness. He brought us into light. Thank you for the work you did. You shed your blood on our behalf. You saved us. You delivered us. You wrote our name in the book of life. Hey, praise the Lord. We will never go to heaven anymore as strangers, but rather as people with their name in the book of life. Yanika, Nerisha, Rekosukayete didi bakata liri bakata lara, Rekosukayara bate didi bakare do rosadi, Ranon de lim bradush and akediba, our names are written. No one else can take our identity. I was voting in the country of Nigeria recently. They have a machine called a Beavers, which can read your DNA, which was, sorry, not your DNA, your face structure and bring out your detail. As soon as they place it in my face, zap! After they swiped my card, just said it's Matthew Shimelo, blah, 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 blah. This is his address. He has the right to vote in this place. Same thing. The day the blood washed you, your name was written in the book of life. You now have the life of God in you. That's why the Bible says, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin because the seed of God is in him. You carry the seed of God now. Jesus will bless you. We magnify you. We're not carrying the seed of religion. Religious people kill others because they want to prove something. We have nothing to prove. You've already done it for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making us joint heirs with Christ. Oh, we give you all the glory. Romans 8, 17. And if children, then heirs. Heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. It's if, 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 so 
if uh, if if oh let me read this very well i'm reading it in a funny way that we suffer with him so that we may be also glorified together romans 8 verse 17 and if children then hairs hairs of god and joint hairs with christ glory to god glory to god if so be that we suffer with him so that we may be glorified together joint hairs lord we bless you we who were nothing ordinary clay nothing glorious for your word says first corinthians chapter one chapter two that you did not call the wise of this world the foolish were the ones you call yes we admit we were foolish but you made us joint hair you wrote our name in the book of life you forgave our sin you cleansed us with the cleansing of righteousness take the glory this morning thank you for finishing the work thank you for silencing the devil thank you for calling us your children and there's nothing satan can do about it in jesus name in the name of jesus romans 8 17 and if children then hairs also hairs of god and fellow hairs with christ even indeed we suffer with him so that we may also be glorified with him hairs with christ Lord, this morning, I prophesy to somebody's life. In spite of whatever the devil says, whatever the devil does, you have an inheritance in God. That blessing is coming on you. Everything you have inherited in God. Everything we have inherited in God. Receive, 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 receive. Everything we have inherited in God. Receive, 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 receive. Everything we have inherited in God. Receive, 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 receive. Ikaba kotoro ikaida. Ayene mo kosoka. Yere koza lebosha. Yere rozo ramba kaida. We declare this day. We have an inheritance. Ira baba basha. Ira baba ra. Rikora baba. Ira boshke ira bohendia. In the name of I declare today from today you walk in your inheritance. You walk in your inheritance. You walk in your favor. You walk in your blessing. You walk in your inheritance. You walk in your inheritance. You walk in your inheritance. You walk in your favor. You walk in your inheritance. Everything that God says is yours. You walk in it. You live in it. You enjoy it. You live in it. You walk in it. You enjoy it. I prophesy this day, no man can take your inheritance. Nobody can stop you from your inheritance. Health is your inheritance. Somebody on this altar this morning, walk in health. Total health. 100% health in the name of Jesus. Everything that God says belongs to you, begin to walk in it. Enjoy it. Begin to live in it. Begin to operate by it. Begin to overcome by it. In the name of Jesus. Health is your inheritance. I command healing on your body. Strength is your inheritance. I command strength into your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything that is your inheritance. Abundance is your inheritance. Receive in the name of Jesus. Prosperity is your inheritance. Receive in the name of Jesus. Prosper on the way out. Prosper on the way in. Prosper when you rise. Prosper when you sit. Let everything you touch be prosperous. Let everything you touch be prosperous. In the name of Jesus. Everything that God had earmarked for you shall become your reality in the name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus peace is your inheritance from today the peace that passes understanding guards your life protects your life surrounds your life no one can take it from you in the name of jesus i declare to your life today favor is your inheritance walk in favor i declare today 
Favor is your inheritance. Walk in favor. In the name of Jesus, walk in favor. I declare today, Malibrosia, Rinereshkaya, Lira Bokosota, every inheritance that you have today, I say they become manifest in your life. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every inheritance, multiple inheritance, receive, 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 favor, kinship, ancestry, the ones you have by reason of you being a child of God, from today, it manifests, it manifests, it manifests, it manifests. The ones you have, because Christ paid the price, from today, they manifest, they manifest. You will walk in your inheritance, you will live by your inheritance. Everything that wants to hold you down, I declare and decree today, you rise above it, you rise above it, you live above it, it shall not stop you in the name of Jesus. You take possession of your inheritance. You walk in your inheritance. You live in your inheritance. We silence the voice of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Ma bikosu yeni pranitali renoshka hereboza. From this day, you live in the blessing of divine inheritance. In the name of Jesus. May your children inherit your desire to follow Jesus. May your children inherit your desire to serve Jesus. Your children will not be wayward. Your family will not be wayward in the name of Jesus. Just as you have served the Lord, your family will serve the Lord. You will leave a godly inheritance for your sons and daughters. You will leave a godly inheritance for your sons and daughters. You will leave a godly inheritance for your sons and daughters. You will leave a godly inheritance for your sons and daughters. In the name of Jesus, may your family inherit reverence for the word of God. Respect for the word of God. Reverence for the word of God. Respect for the word of God. Reverence for the word of God. Respect for the word of God. Reverence for the word of God. Respect for the word of God. Reverence for the word of God. Respect for the word of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. May your children inherit the ability to hear God. And Samuel as a little child heard the voice of the Lord. May your family inherit the capacity to hear God. The capacity to walk with God. The capacity to discern the mind of God. To know the personal instruction from God. Not psychologists. Psychologists. Or trying to mess the world up and begin to tell us if you have a certain feeling you may be a woman trapped in a man's body you may be a man trapped in a woman's body i pray for your family this day may your family inherit the capacity to hear god capacity to be led by god your children will be taught of the lord your family will be taught of the lord you also be taught of the lord in your business the ability to hear god a customer is coming a customer from hell you will know before they came even if they bring a billion dollars, you will know this is a customer from hell and God will expose their heart, expose their person. You will not walk in darkness. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I pray for your family this day. May your, may your family receive a servant heart. The heart to serve Jesus. The heart to serve Jesus. May your family inherit the heart to serve Jesus. The heart to serve Jesus. Not to live in pride, but the heart to serve Jesus. The heart to serve Jesus. The heart to serve Jesus. May your family inherit the heart to serve Jesus. The heart to honor Jesus. The heart to magnify Jesus. The heart to make the name of the Lord great. The heart to be sincere followers of Jesus Christ. Sincere followers of Jesus Christ. Rababa Renika Pradishta Hireba Renosa Mikayera. The greatest inheritance is for your family to inherit your faith. Your faith. Your faith. This will be your portion. 
this will be your portion. You will not just leave money and clothes and, and houses for family and they are ungodly, satanic, and they worship the devil and bow to iniquity. I prophesy on your household this morning, this morning, godly inheritance, godly inheritance, goodly heritage, goodly heritage. Baby said the, 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 the boundaries are falling onto me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. This day I prophesy to your family, that your family will receive a goodly heritage in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, goodly inheritance, the kind that will honor Jesus is coming to your house. It's coming to your life. It's coming to your house. It's coming to your life. Psalm 16, verse 16. The boundary lines are falling for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. Some people, when the Father's will is, re is read, they say, my house. And so and so street I lay is left for you. Ah, they rejoice. But they don't realize that's not enough. Everyone within the reach of my voice today. God has already provided a goodly heritage. Receive in the name of Jesus. Ayata, lire baba, hiro kosa, hire de bosa, hira baka, nere keba, akabarosha, hikere baka, mare ketele riba, mabrodo ziare, nare embreondo. Wherever you are this morning, I want you to realize this morning's morning glow is supposed to shake the foundation of every wrong inheritance. Every inheritance from your father's house that you have carried on. Bad traditions, limitations, shackles. We break in the name of Jesus. Things that held your fathers down in 100 years of bondage. 200 years of limitation and slavery, poverty, shame, penury, generation of failures. We cancel by the blood. We cancel by the blood. We cancel by the blood. Nayi tozu kali radadadada rabe kotoshata rike tete rabado totebara rike kota nebaka. Somebody is on this platform today. I'm seeing a revelation that I'm wondering what is this. Then it then made sense. So I see it was blood. Then the blood was, it was, was like, it was like dark, like dark chocolate, you know, brownish dark. And I'm saying, what, what does blood got to do with our prayer? And the Lord was speaking in my spirit that it has to do with something like bad blood in the family. Anyone on this platform who have found themselves inheriting bad blood bad connection, bad genetics, genetic of failure, genetics of, 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 of poverty, genetics of shackles, genetics of limitation. You are going to be different in the name of Jesus. We sever you from that inglorious blood. We sever you from that limiting blood. We sever you from that blood that pollutes destiny. Wherever it came from, grandfather, grandmother, mother side, dad side, we sever you from it from today. We lose you from the grip of limitations. We lose you from the grip of satanic limitations. We lose you from the grip of satanic limitations. We lose you from the grip of satanic limitations. We lose you from the grip of satanic limitations. We declare from today, new season, new favor, new season, new favor. Psalm 16, verse 6, New Living Translation. The land you have given me is a pleasant land. What a wonderful inheritance. I pray for you this morning. The land God has given you will be a pleasant land. The business God is giving you will be a pleasant business. The family God is giving you will be a pleasant family. The favor God is showing you will be a pleasant favor. The goodness God is giving you will be a pleasant goodness. Everything around you will be a testimony. English Standard Version. 
The lions have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, I have a beautiful inheritance. Kaledeba, Noradeshka, Makaberita, Terikaba, Rikosoba, Riketekai, Hedabosha. A good inheritance is coming to your life. An inheritance worth celebrating is coming to your life. In the name of Jesus. New American Standard Bible. The measuring lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Indeed, my inheritance is, a beautiful, is beautiful to me. Receive, 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 receive in the name of Jesus. Kayebosha, the net Bible says, it is as if I have been given fertile fields or received a beautiful track of land. It is as if I have received fertile field or a beautiful tract of land. In this year, 2023, this is going to be the year of awesome, beautiful land, awesome inheritance, favor coming, breakthrough coming, every hindrance removed out of your journey. Malati, Ibado, Ikara, Ikadaba, Haka. I see somebody, things began to go well a little bit this year, and then suddenly you've had some issues. And I hear a very funny statement, like a spanner thrown into your into your engine to create a knock, a crack, a, a, a stoppage. Tataka, kokaka, paka, tike, totally. Every satanic hand intended to slow you down, limit you, shut you down. We curse in the name of Jesus. Every satanic hand intended to limit you, stop you, shut you down. We curse in the name of Jesus. Every satanic hand intended to limit you, stop you, shut you down. We curse in the name of Jesus. From this morning, change comes to you. Favor comes to you. Blessing comes to you. Glory comes to you. Nakabedosia. Nalisha Nidaba. Nakuzobarita. Nidita Narishteyari. This day will be a new testimony for you. It is as if I have been given fertile fields or received a beautiful tract of land. You have received it. It is now yours. You are going to walk in your inheritance. Your land will be beautiful. Your land will produce. Your land will be beautiful. Your land will produce. Harvest will meet harvest in your life this year. I call monies from the east to come to you. Money from the west to come to you. Money from the south to come to you. Inheritances that are yours. God will see you. God will bless you. Lions will fall for you in pleasant places. Lions will fall for you in pleasant places. Lion will fall for you in pleasant places. God himself would take inheritance and put in your hand. Psalm 8, 78 verse 55. Psalm 78 verse 55. He has cast out the heathen also before them. Anyone occupying what belongs to you, we cast them out. We cast them out. The cartel, every illegal tenant, including those who carry papers, but they are illegal in the realm of the spirit, are going to the realm of the spirit this morning. I cast them out. I cast them out. Their time is up. Tali Katosi, Hebronotasha, Hebrodosa. I chase them out with the oil of God this morning. Oh, you better say powerful, amen. He cast out the heathen also before them and divided them an inheritance by line and made the tribes of Israel to dwell in their tents. While he cast out the heathen, he made his people dwell. He cast out the illegal occupants, he made the inheritors to dwell. He cast out the heathen also before them, he divided them an inheritance by line, by line, by line, by line. By line, by line, Nakatika, Zakaita, Nabarete, Sharaba. There's an inheritance with your name on it. Receive, receive. Wherever you are, stop telling yourself 
my color don't do this. My gender don't do that. Your inheritance has nothing to do with gender and has nothing to do with color. It has to do with God choosing to give you his inheritance and making you a joint heir with Christ. I like to read this verse again, Psalm 78, verse 55. Makes a lot of impact for me this morning. Cast out the heathen that are before them. Every occupant of your office, we cast them out. Occupants of your business, whether now or in the future, we cast them out. Occupants of your inheritance, we cast them out. We blow the trumpet in Zion. We sound the alarm on the holy mountain. And then he divided to them an inheritance. Line by line. Line by line. Sometimes I've wondered at some of the strange blessings God has given me. Strange. Every time I, I buy land at different times, probably five years, ten years, uh, separate from each other, then I'll just see that there is a line. There is a line. <laughs> I hope my hand shows the letter L. Here is the house I used to live in. Here is my office one and a half kilometers away from each other. And there, about eight kilometers, is precisely the roof of KICC's headquarters in Africa, in, in Lagos, Nigeria. There, here, and here. I mean, it's like somebody drew the line, drew the line, and it has happened more than 10 times. I read this scripture again, and I believe it. He has cast out the heathen also before them, divided them an inheritance by line, and made the tribes of Israel dwell in their tent. I'm speaking to somebody's life today. I want you to say amen wherever you are. The time has come. You will walk in your inheritance. You will live in your inheritance. You will live an inheritance for your children. Godly inheritance. Prayer inheritance. Bible inheritance. Serving God inheritance, honoring God inheritance, you will not raise a generation of God mockers. Your children will not mock God. Your family will not mock Jehovah. Your family will be known as the generation that seeks after God. As a result, the land shall fall for you in pleasant places, in goodly places, in honor places, in testimony places. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Testimony will follow you according to line by line. The Lord will give you inheritance line by line. Your things will line up. Your things will line up. Things that have to do with your life will line up. Favor will find you. Favor will connect with you. People will build houses for you to occupy. They will start estates for you to own. What you thought you cannot have in 10 years, you shall have in the next 10 months. What you thought you cannot have in 10 years, God will give you in the next 10 months. What you thought you cannot have in 10 years, God will make happen for you in the next 10 months. He will fill your mouth with laughter. He will fill your life with ce celebration. He will fill your life with laughter. He will fill your life with celebration. In the name of Jesus, get ready. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Instead of shame, you will have double portion. Somebody should shout a powerful amen there. Instead of humiliation, 
they will shout for joy over their portion. Oh, somebody should glorify the Lord there. Therefore, they will possess a double portion in their land. Hey, somebody should begin to magnify God in, in advance. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. Wow. Not just joy for a day. Not just happiness for a season. But joy, everlasting joy will be theirs. I read this verse again. This is your inheritance. Instead of shame, kadibodo kotili bara. Satan has been threatening you on that matter, that he's going to embarrass you and put you to shame. But rather, the word of the Lord says you will have double portion, more than you bargain for. In the name of Jesus. And instead of humiliation, you will shout for joy over your portion. Kadida, kadabada, reke kekeke, rabado shokada, brekito rosoka, yeni makabaro. Rekiteke brodos, yena malikishka, reborosi tali, branoski tali riba, ranoshka yenderi, habrose rira, hekayara bosha. Instead of humiliation, you will have joy. Instead of humiliation, you will have joy. Instead of humiliation, you will shout for joy. Instead of humiliation, it says, instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. In other words, instead of being humiliated, suddenly when you saw your portion, you began to scream and jump. And people said, what happened? I was expecting to be embarrassed. Look what the Lord has done. This is your portion. This is your portion. This is your story. 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 This is your portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, they will possess a double portion in their land. Everlasting joy will be theirs. There is a breakthrough that brings a joy that cannot be stopped. Nakayara, I speak into somebody's life. In this season of your life, you are walking in your inheritance. You are living your inheritance. You shall not waste your inheritance. You shall not eat up your inheritance. You will enjoy your inheritance. You will live in your inheritance. It shall bring you joy. It shall bring you peace. In place of embarrassment and shame, God will give you double portion inheritance. Instead of humiliation, rather the sound of joy will burst out in your house. You will possess double portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting joy will be upon you. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Psalm 2 verse 8. Psalm 2 verse 8. Psalm 2 verse 8. Ask of me. And I will surely give the nations as your inheritance. And the very ends of the earth as your possession. Wow. He said just ask. I will give you nations for your inheritance, not, not apartments. Hey! Pro kazayide de bosha. Ma lero talim braniza yiraba. Ask of me. I will give you nations for an inheritance. Ma le zeli brono geni kaba. Zeyandere kutosha ya. Bro zilibara taliri. Aye keko. Ask of me. I will give you nations for an inheritance. Not, not pieces of, of struggle. Ah, somebody's story is changing from this morning. You are coming into the levels of your inheritance. You are coming into the magnitude of your inheritance. You are coming into the breakthrough of your inheritance. Receive, 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 receive. In the name of Jesus, ask of me. And I will give you nations for your inheritance, the ends of the earth for your possession. This is your portion. This is your story. This is your testimony. The English Standard Version says, Ask of me. I will make nations your heritage. Ends of the earth will be your possession. Jesus. Jesus. We tear the close of limitation from the life of your people today. 
They walk in favor. They walk in testimony. They walk in glory. They walk in possessing possessions. We declare and decree. These things will become our reality. Our eyes will see it. Our mouth will testify. Our eyes will see it. Our mouth will testify. Our eyes will see it. Our mouth will testify. Our eyes will see it. Our mouth will testify. Our eyes will see it. Our mouth will testify. Nikizo, Nikaya, Yerozi, Mamengorosha, Yerika Barote Rikada, Rike, Broza, Heta, Roje, Kabari, Keri Rose, Rinari Rabokoshe, Keri Dabari, Renombro, Diza, Mande, Rosa, Lika, Didari, Brodosa. Every translation brings out the same we ask of me. And I will surely give you nations as your inheritance and the very ends of the earth as your possession. Some of you, where you have not reached before, your influence will possess nations. Receive, 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 receive. I break the shackle of limitation in your life. I speak you into your total inheritance. From this day, you walk in the fullness of your inheritance, the fullness of your favor, the fullness of your inheritance, the fullness of your favor. Naya kikosa, yena talerebo, he kora na na na, he kiyara babosha, he da da de rosha, he de 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 de, he kalara bosa ya, he kababo bosha, he da 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 rosa, he da baka kikoso rabasha. In Jesus' name, we close this morning with Deuteronomy 32, verse 9. For the Lord's portion is His people, Jacob is the allotment of his inheritance. God will give you inheritance, but you are also his inheritance. And because you are God's inheritance, everything that concerns you concerns God. Your healing concerns God. Your favor concerns God. Your blessing concerns God. Your victory concerns God. Everything that touches you touches God. Anything that touches you touches God. Everything that happens to you, ah, it becomes the matter of God. So from this morning, I prophesy into your life that you will only be victorious, you will not fail. Going to today, I prophesy there is no condemnation on your life. You will walk in victory. You will walk in testimony in the name of Jesus. I prophesy you will walk by the peace of God today, which is your inheritance in the name of Jesus. I prophesy the Holy Spirit who dwells in you will guide you, teach you, show you things because you are a joint heir with Christ in Jesus' name. I prophesy that all things will work together for good for you today because you love the Lord, because you are called according to his purpose in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that today and the rest of your life, no one will be able to stand against you. Romans 8.31, if God be for us, who can be against us in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that through Christ Jesus, you are more, not just a, but more than a conqueror. Romans 8, 37, you are not a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You are not a heavyweight boxer. You are the world champion, all belts connected, heavyweight champion. From this day, I declare and decree, you are more than a conqueror. Kaikiko, Naliberi, Kairebu Sheta, Rikira. I declare today that because of the inheritance of God, you cannot be separated from the love of your Father. Who can separate us from the love that is from God? Romans 8 34 to 39. Shall tribulation, persecution, uh, death, life, <laughs> angels, principalities. He said, I am persuaded that neither life, nor death, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ. I prophesy on your life today because you are God's inheritance. You are washed. You are sanctified. Because you are God's inheritance, you belong to God. You are Christ's body. You are anointed. You will not fail. The curse of your father's house is already broken. 
it cannot stand. Ah! How can you be God's inheritance and curses continue to stand? How can you be and curses continue to remain? It's broken. The curse is broken. The spell is broken. Be free totally in the name of Jesus. Your change is here. Your deliverance is here. Your testimony is here. Go into today. The blood will speak for you. Revelation 12 verse 11. Go into business. The blood will speak for you. Go. The blood will speak for your family. Go. The blood will speak in every area. In every ramification. Go into today. Nothing will stop you. Rikaba. Rukaeda. Ababa Shekaya. Nekeb Roduzo Ikalibari. Zaliri. Go into today. Heaven will manifest in your life. Iko tali brosaya. I tali kali bosotaya. Go into today. And today will be a beautiful day for you. Go into today. And you will shine for Christ. Go into today. You will stand out. Your testimony will be heard around the world. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. I have iko. Me broda zai. Mandele katali ziboro taya reko tozabari ketalara yendero kambari shadiri zalibush makabas rekedibosh nabari keza in Jesus name. It's going to be a great day of victory, a day of testimony, a day of favor, a day of the outstretching of the hand of God in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. A couple of announcements we bring today's morning glow to an end. Don't forget tonight will be awesome as we study the word. The power of the living word. Speaking it. Believing it. Holding on to it. Ah, yeah, yeah. Tonight will be awesome. You will not miss it by any chance. And you will be blessed. Your life will never be the same. Jesus name. Your life will be impacted. In Jesus' name. Please take note from next Monday, from next week, Monday, time changes on Sunday. So morning glow will change in time to go an hour behind. As you can see on the screen, those of you in West Africa, Ghana will be 5 a.m. from Monday. Nigeria will be 6 a.m. from Monday. Kudubvoa, that is the, the west of the Equator in West Africa will be 5, 5 a.m. The east of the equator will be 6 a.m. in West Africa. In East Africa, it's 7, 8 a.m. Central Africa is all 7, 7, 7. And some part of Europe will be 7 a.m. Uh, so the times are on the screen. Those of you who are joining us from India, is 10.30 a.m. Uh, those joining us from China, 1 United Arab Emirates, we are going back to 9 a.m. Jamaica, we are going back to 12 a.m. So it will not be, it will not be what it used to be with 12 a.m. 12, well, 12 a.m. is just say 12 noon. I don't know why they put 12 a.m. there. It's noon. It's neither a.m. nor p.m. It's just noon. <laughs> all right. So please take note of all the, and then Canada is the, <laughs> the most blessed. They have like four or five times in Canada and the U.S. too, four or five times in the U.S. East, Central, Mountain, Pacific. Canada too has mountain, mountain time, East, E, C, and C.S. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. Just join us. And don't miss by any chance. Praise the Lord. This Saturday is going to be very, 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 very empowering. It is the day I teach on 200 steppers or stoppers. 200 steppers or stoppers. Many do not realize the reason they struggle to make the millions. It's not because God hates them or even that the devil knows them. But because in life they've grown to know only some stoppers. You need to know the steppers. These steppers and stoppers actually are in your four, in four things you do, the habits you have formed, the attitudes you have, the beliefs you already have, and the actions you carry out. Haba, 
Haba. H-A-B-A. Haba. Habits, attitudes, beliefs, actions. The wealth master class is where I teach people to, great, to create wealth. I've done this for over 30 years now. As I, as I am selling something from the age of 14, let me teach you a few things that will cause you to create wealth. And uh, I've seen the goodness of God in my life. Built the first house I ever built at the age of 27 as a young bachelor pastor uh, from buying and selling while pastoring. Let me teach you how to form habits that prosper you, attitudes that help you, beliefs that can, you see, your beliefs can either hinder you or help you. Your actions can either hinder you or help you. Your habits can either hinder you or help you. Your attitudes can hinder you or help you. So how about 200 steppers or stoppers of millionaires? If you have never registered with us, you need to do so. It will cost you. But you see, the cost of ignorance is more than the, I mean, the price of ignorance is more than the cost of uh, what will help you to prosper. The price of ignorance is to remain the same, remain in lack, justify lack, which is having to do with beliefs. Oh, many people will have gone forward, but for the beliefs they have formed. And church people are world, world champion of wrong beliefs. And sometimes even church have perpetuated those wrong beliefs. Join us. Your life will never be the same. Bible study will be awesome today. You will be greatly blessed. Remember to register your name as you reach out to your friend to your friends and invite them to KRCC Bible study, morning glow, church service. I have already committed to bless people who invite as many as 10 within 100 days. Even though the 100 days ends April 10, want to start blessing people from now that is the, the week of Pastor Matthew's birthday. Guess what? Tomorrow Morning Glow will be three years old. 23rd of March. Join us tomorrow morning as we continue to prophesy. Inheritance. 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 Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine on you, give you peace, bless your going out and coming in. At all times, you'll be above only, never under. In Jesus' name. Make sure you put it in your calendar. The Good Friday, 7th of April, I will be in KRCC Oxford. We're looking forward to a great outpouring of grace. In Jesus' name. God bless you this morning. Kaidubu Benis, Diosteben Diga, Diosteben Soy. Bwana kubariki, mwariba kukombrere, iwa mzita la Yesu, ya mishra, mkulu mkulu, agubu sisi. God bless you.